Hey everybody, it's Butch Norton. I'm here at the World Drum Club today in the bunker of the Kalani. Hey. Hey. And uh, I'm going to take you around this kit that I call the Contraption Kit. And that is what uh, I wanted to bring to the World Drum Club today to give you my kind of concept of this mishmash of instruments. It, it is my homage, it's my throwback to the beginnings of the drum set, which was, as we know, called traps. The kit, the drum set, well, contraption, I took that word and I've created what, kind of where the drum set started, a, 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 a pile of drums and sounds and instruments. And uh, so I'm gonna show you, this is a contraption kit number 20 is what I call it. We'll start over here on my right. We have the Gong Bops Mariano Conga. Uh, we have African Sogo. And uh, next to that, we have the remote DW hi-hat with some toy symbols and a symbol lent to me by Mr. Kalani. And then we come to one of the most interesting parts of the kit. I call it the Balron Agitator Drum. This is a Glenn Velez 20-inch uh, Balron. Traditionally played Irish hand drum like this, right? Uh, and uh, below that is the agitator drum part. This is from a washing machine. I've always been intrigued by uh, washing machines and uh, Mrs. Butch let me buy one one day and I took it apart. This is the inside agitator drum that goes inside this. And I rest that on top of there. Great gong sound. And for some reason, one day I threw the Balron on top to make it kind of a timpani-esque uh, whole thing. come over back here, I, I threw a, a soft beater bass drum pedal, which kicks the side. Gives me that, all these different sounds. The Balron Agitator Drum. Next to that, we have, uh, there was a dancer here in California, and I can't, unfortunately can't remember his name, but he made this beautiful wood cajon for me. And uh, so that sets up out here, and it goes in a uh, LP conga stand. That fits that really nicely. And then I have this beautiful uh, motherland, real insanely heavy, big ass piece of wood. Djembe, of course, that fits as the centerpiece of the kit. The contraption kit that sits there. And then next we have Darbukas. That's what I've always been told they're called, Darbukas. Little uh, Middle Eastern hand drum sitting on top the, of the pièce de résistance. This is a wood box. It is from the inside of one of my uh, trap cases on the road. And one day, for some reason, I set it up with a bass drum pedal on the other side and use it as kind of a bass drum situation. There's a sandbag on the inside and a couple sandbags on the out, but it's just got a great bass tone. box. Yeah. Find you some wood box. Now over on the right hand side of the kit we have of course the proverbial broken symbol. I collect broken symbols. They are some of the best sounds in the world. It's on this homemade DW single brace stand where I've pieced together all different parts that I've collected over the years to fabricate a stand. Has this little Wuhan bell on here. 
And the focus of this piece over here, of course, is my very famous Ely can, coffee can drum. It fits in this DW, Tom, or excuse me, Tama little thing that I get fashioned out of the top of a guitar stand. I couldn't figure out, I didn't want to plug, I wanted to leave the hole open so it would vibrate, the can would vibrate. Mm. But uh, so I took a cable tie and figured out a way to get that on there and it stays beautifully in here with all my um, little crazy ass parts. Boom, comes down here and we have the Ely coffee can uh, that I love. Ely coffee can. You can get them. Go to a store that, uh, a coffee place that has Ely coffee cans, they recycle them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I always go in and ask if uh, they can throw me some. I might ask, you know, give them two or three bucks per can, but they, uh, they'll they give them to you. They're an amazing sound. Next to that, the end piece on this is the uh, John Bergamo Conjira. <laughs> his uh, original uh, version of that, which they now have a new version. But um, the nice thing, interesting part about this, hand drums, frame drums, how do you mount them? Uh, this is an LP cowbell holder, right? That is the part, right, that you screw on your bass drum, and then this part sits up and you put the cowbell on, on there usually. Well. Years ago, someone, I don't know if, who, if who, came up with the idea, oh, clamp this onto your hand drum, put this in a, an appropriate simple thing, and voila, you can mount your frame drums. This literally was maybe a month and a half ago. I went to the crazy place and put these incredibly amazing sounding Yeah. <laughs> Combining sounds with other sounds. Add, you know, like I was doing the, uh, doing the shakers in between using the Lee Howard Stevens grip, uh -huh. like this, you know. A little extra odd flavor sometimes. Kit, percussion, whatever. Gives you your own unique sound another way to hear things and when you record you know when you listen back after recording something like that it adds just maybe a little texture a little personality it's uh, not normal i like not normal uh and uh that's it next to shakers and all that other stuff but this is the contraption kit uh version 20 for 2020 it's one version i i will adjust and uh, do different setups all the time depending on the drums or the sounds or the orchestration I'm trying to do. But this is what we got today. <laughs>